Okay. Rating's 900. I used to be a thousand, chat. I used to be somebody. The thing about playing this game, though, is I don't know why I'm playing it. As in, I know I'll never master it. So it's like, why bother? If I'm not willing to put the time in. I mean, if I take, he just takes with a bishop. It's like such a waste. Because he's just he's controlling the senses much better. I think I should have left it and let him take me. Yeah, saw that coming. So the problem with taking is because he's got both on there, so I can't take. Um, but I have to then move my horse. Uh, so if I move it back here, it attacks this, but it's in a terrible location. Yeah, so I, I immediately regret my decision there. Um, yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm kind of like infinitely behind. That sucks. Please what, move back there, I suppose. I mean, he wants to still defend this pawn, which does kind of make sense. No, he's not. Um, oh, he's just going to take my horse. True. This guy's really good. Um, so, I, so um, I may as well just move back here then and lose my horse on my own terms. Because whatever I block here with, he's just going to hit my horse. Um, should have seen that. There's no way to block this and defend the horse. Um, if I move this pawn up uh, and he takes, does that improve my circumstances or No. I, I, I just lose another pawn. Pawn c6, you open the queen. So what, I still lose my horse. Oh, no, I don't. You're right. True. I can't believe I didn't see that. I feel very dumb. I'm not going to look at chat again. That's just cheating. I cheated, chat. No. Okay, no more cheating, chat. No more cheating. That's two blunders already. I would say three blunders. I can recover. So, uh huh. I mean, well, it's in my best interest just to move the horse away and trade with his bishop. Because my horse is in, like, the worst spot possible. Like, it literally, it can't move anywhere. Um, so it's a dead piece that I may as well trade for his far more active piece. Because it's also defending the pawn here. Um, especially because he's attacking it here. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and so taking the pawn here probably makes sense. Because I've got I'm defend oh, defending it twice. Um, this is like no. The bishop isn't anything. He can't take here. Uh, I'm up a pawn, but I mean, I don't really want to trade queens. Um, putting the bishop here means that this is not going to be defended by the queen anymore, but it is still defended by the horse. Um, if I move my... Bishop, uh, my queen up is just going to block the bishop in. I guess I just attack with the bishop. But no, because see, he wants to take this pawn, which is defended by the bishop. So I can block with my horse or block with my queen. Guess I'll block with the queen. If he trades queens, then that helps me because then I can castle. If I castle, the castle goes there, the king goes there, yeah, 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 because the king moves and then, yeah, okay. But do I want to trade queens? Not really. But I mean, my bishop is just so trapped in here. Um, and it's locked to my king now, which is not very good. Do I want to move this pawn up to kick out the queen? And that doesn't really free my bishop, though. Um, I can move up here to attack the horse. And the bishop. I think I'm better off just kicking out the queen. Feels such a terrible move, though. <laughs> uh, I mean, it makes this pawn not a weak spot when I want to, when I castle. So his pawn here is weak. Uh, I mean, I, sh I should be thinking about where he's going. So, he, so he can't go there. I mean, he has to move his queen. Uh, he can't attack my king. There's no reason for him to move there. I mean, he's, he's got a lot of spots. I just don't know. Is he going to move back here so he can still pressure the pawn? Yeah, okay. And it defends that pawn too. So I could move the pawn up twice. It blocks my ability to attack that pawn. But I really just want my bishop out. Um, I mean, that pawn is obviously weak as well. He still threatens check if I move my queen out anywhere. This was very aggressive moving this up. Do I want to just move a pawn up over here so I can move out this way? No, actually, no. I should just move this up and take more of the center. And... Be hard pressed defending it, but I mean, there's not much to attack it. Or I can move it up one. Yeah, actually, I will, because then it secures my pawn as well. 
But if I move it up two, then I can move this up one. Because then uh, the the because if he moves the pawn off, then I can check. I mean, we could just trade queens. Ah. Uh. I should move it up one. No, I regret my decision because because I like I I block the queen's access to this side. You received 10 fun trophies? Wow. That's fun. <laughs> wow. I mean, what am I going to do with this bishop anyway, going out this way, uh, attack, move out here, hit that pawn more, uh, being, mm, yeah. So that pawn's weaker now, um. He's on this file with that pawn. I mean, I could just move my uh, knight here. If he doesn't take, I can fork his two castles. But if he does take, I mean... Surely he'd just trade. And... Actually, I can go this way. Like, how does he stop this? Uh, I can't attack my king. He always just moves the castle. I mean, I still get... No, he can move the castle here, but then he traps his castle in magnificently. I mean, he can move the bishop back. I mean, it's like un undeveloping a piece. Which is good for me. I really wish I'd moved that pawn up twice. But like I've I've taken his light squared bishop, so like having my pawns on the light squares is good. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he just moves that back, yeah. Um Moving my queen here. Um, what's it called? It forks the knight to the king. He's just gonna attack my horse with the pawn more than likely. Moving this up enables me to get my bishop out. Not in a great way though. Do I want to just move it onto the green? Or stay on yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay. Having the castle on this file to defend this pawn and contest his castle would be good, which we castling. Um... I think that, that that not moving that up is such a blunder. Hmm. He's just so locked in here. I'm surprised he hasn't just moved ace. But surely he's just going to move up this pawn to knock back my horse. 
Um, so my queen can do this now. Um, which is probably what I'm going to do. This castle being on this file, so uh, next to my king is concerning. Hmm. Yeah. That was weird. So he's just... I know, because the bishop's still there. And actually, this blocks this file. That's a good move. <laughs> sure, surely he's not watching the stream. But, um... So... Uh, I'm gonna start running out of time. Uh, so I just move up my bishop one, like I initially planned. Feels kind of weak. I guess move doesn't really accomplish much. What's he gonna do with this horse anyway? Um, move it here to threaten the queen. Having this here also precludes me from putting up this pawn for another reason. Uh, is he going to move out his bishops so he can have his castles meet? No, because then I can still move this. Like, his... his his bishop is locked there because my horse is there. I'm surprised he hasn't just moved to the pawn. Okay, well, there you go. See, I can't move this back here because that square isn't supported. I could have moved my bishop up there to support this square, so I could have moved my horse back. Yeah, that would have been a better move. Um... Just running away feels really lame, but I think I'm just gonna have to do so. I need to use my rooks. I'm probably just gonna castle next turn. Or get up my bishop somehow. I don't think castling short is better. But maybe castling short is better. Like most of his attacking stuff is on the right, so I want my king on the left, I guess. Hmm. Um, yeah, my, uh, my king will be on a light square regardless. Yeah, and he has a, because he doesn't have a light square bishop, so. I think there's six minutes left. I gotta, I gotta play faster. Uh, like, what, what's his move gonna be? Am I, am I gonna push my bishop up here to defend this? I made, I, how am I winning this? Because he's got three on it. Like, I'm never going to win that. Do I want to just... I can't march this up anymore because he's moved that up. I want to march up. He moved his king. Okay. Um... So, it's fine. Uh, it's... Yeah, like moving the bishop here 
makes it so he can't move there. This horse. So I can move this pawn up and check for no purpose at all. Like when he takes or whatever, but I mean it wouldn't check mid to it. Because so yeah, I can I can move this up now. That'd make one less support on this pawn. Which would be uh, which would obviously make me lose it. Neither of the castles puts a rook in a place that's super valuable to me, I don't think. Maybe just moving the rook to support the queen and this file. I mean, because oh, he moved the king so he can move his horse. So if I move this pawn up. Uh, I can check with the queen. Doesn't get me anything. Oh, I see. He's going to move his horse and hit me with the castle. Uh... There's no way that he can move his horse that is particularly annoying to me. That I can't just take it, except over, over there. But... I definitely want the king on this file. Um, now that he's moved his castle, though, I, I'm free to move my horse up here. I mean, just for the sake of play. Now he'd take, and then my king would be threatened. Uh... Oh, actually, no, I get it. Because he, he can move here now freely. I just assumed he was going to take the pawn, but he, would, he can just move here or even here freely. No, not there. But he can move here. Because I have to move my queen. So I can't take him. No, this is dumb. Because if he does that, I can just take his castle and checkmate. Right, so I did think that there. Okay. I was too busy thinking like, oh, but I have to move my queen. No, but I can attack with the queen, obviously. Oh, yes, and now he's defending the square. So, I guess I want to... Rather than moving my queen, I want to... Block it with the bishop? Into... It's into there? Either that or I need to... Move it, attack something more substantive. Like, this is weak, so I could move this here, attack that. Would he just trade rooks? I mean, where's this going to go if I attack it? It can't go there. It could go back here. And once I'm here, I, I guess I just trade queens and threaten. Fuck up his thing, section here. I'm running out of time. Will he just trade queens and then fuck up my pawn, pawn structure? No, because I could just take with a bishop. I 
I'm technically up one pawn. But I don't think that's enough material for me to be like, oh, I just trade all the pieces, you know. His castle over there is still screwed, but so is mine. I need to find time to castle. Yeah, he's already dead, okay. I mean, ah, ah, I, I, I have to still defend my castle from his castle. So it does fuck my pawn structure. Ah, no. But if I had castled before, I wouldn't have been in that problem. Nah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a bishop is more valuable than a horse. And I've still got both my bishops. So... Do this check. Let's still defend this. Um, like what? What's what's he moving here? Like uh, the horse to here to hit this? This still wouldn't be to be defended by my bishop. I'm probably castling. He, he, surely he wants to get his castle in the game by moving this bishop out somewhere. It's no longer necessary to defend that square. Well, it is kind of, because I can still move here now with my horse and hit here. I mean, that does put my bishop in a weird spot. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but his his pieces in weird spots as well. Like here, I'm a pawn up, but it's in a weird way. His horse blocking this pawn is the best thing I've got going for me. Oh, but, but, because, yeah, because if I put this back here, then he's forced to keep his bishop there. That was a mistake, wasn't it? Isn't that a mistake? Because I can now move this here and hit this. Because this also threatens check if he moves his bishop. What is he doing with this bishop? Uh, he wants to defend this square with the horse. But I just trade? I'm running out of time. Uh, oh, okay. And I can't threaten check, actually, because of this horse. True. So I can take this, but I'm losing the castle. I mean, this isn't not awful for me. Because I've also got this file as well if he moves the bishop, which he has to. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see... I, I wasn't paying attention to that. That was my bad. But I, I don't think... I, I think this is a good spot for me still. Like, where is he going to go? I, I should now have both these pawns together. He can't check me. He can't threaten something more significant. I mean, he can move this over to defend that pawn. He has to pick a pawn to defend. I can, um... This thing weird, like, uh, no, like, I can, no, 
I mean, like, just if I had this, I could like move this bishop to the square and do a discover check thing or something. But that would never fucking happen. Discover check being like moving my horse, so then it checks with the bishop. But yeah, so I'm better off having. I'm better off moving my castle up. Because this horse threatens check. And then he has to keep the horse there. I mean, but if I if I check, does that really matter? A little bit. I think, yeah, I think moving this up is better. Um, My bishops are in such awkward spots. Um, mm, I should take in this pawn, maybe. I like having the castle in the game. I just mean because then this pawn wouldn't be defended and then I could move up and attack it there and he, his bishop would have to come back to it, defend it. Like, it's just, it's just so awkward for him. Like, is he just going to move this back to defend this? I mean, if he does, I will still take it. And then I'll threaten this as well. Then should I have taken that first and threatened that? But then he would have just moved over and defended this pawn. No, I think this was better. Yeah, so, like... Why do I care? Because, like, if he... If he takes now, and I trade, then he can't defend both his horses. So I have to trade here. That's uh, I, I understand now. So I, because uh, if I don't trade, like if I run, if I no, I no, I could move. No, I can't. Because yeah, so I have to trade. Yeah. And he moves back here. Yes, it's fine. No, uh, I'm running out of time. I have to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Can't go there. So I should have to play faster. Um, can go there. Threaten the pawn. I mean, th these end. I mean, I'm I'm not experienced. So like. End games like this, I'll be fucked. So he's defending the pawn, I mean, so then... Attack it again. But now, if he moves the pawn, I get the horse. So surely he's going to take. Yeah. So surely two bishops and three extra pawns wins. Oh, why did he do that one? 
I mean, obviously I want to, I want to trade material, like, you know, um, so, I need to get, um, I'm, I'm not good at end games, so, um, I mean, so I need to defend the end. So he wants to go here to attack both. Um, gonna run out of time. So I need to. Move off this square. I'm gonna lose this 100% just on time. I just need to start moving. Uh, okay. So he wants to move over here. Um, he... Yeah, it's fine. So now I should move my king here. Uh, which, but then it won't, that won't be defended. Yeah. So... Um, everything is defended. Should be now I have to move. Fuck. I win. I'm ahead. Woo! I won an end game! Yeah, baby! Um. Uh How do you do this? Uh There we go. So he has to move one of these two up and he loses one. Not no, I was about to lose my queen there. Um,
Yeah. The beginning was a bit rocky, but I think like 90% of the game I played really well. 85% accuracy, no blunders. You missed the better way to win material. Yeah, that does make more sense. Yeah, because then like, there yeah, and the castling and that th hits that and then he has to move. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, th I remember being very unsure about this. Because there's, because I had two on it. It was still a white square though. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's not much of an inaccuracy, apparently, but... Uh, is th that because then I can check? Um... I can move into here. Uh, no. Mm. Why is this valuable, chat? You force a queen trade? And is that really good in this spot? Click show line. Oh. I guess because the queen is now trapped, uh, stuck in the corner. I mean, he got a pawn out of that. How is that better? I mean, I guess I guess because that he's other way. I mean, mm. there's a check there. He just wants him in the corner. I guess. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. So many inaccuracies here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and while I'm sure you're eager to get the endless other videos on this channel, I'd like to take a moment of your time to wish you all the best.